up beauties welcome back to the channel today is just me playing around with a palette i'm gonna just i don't know i haven't i didn't plan this really but i already have the full face eyebrows done so it's just important for right now it's the eyes the lips are the important things that are going on right now so i'm gonna be using the Morphe X Jaclyn Hill palette, my Holy Grail recently. I've been using this a lot recently because it has like really pretty fall colors. So I might do like kind of like what I might do for Thanksgiving or what I might do for my birthday since it's this month. But I'm going to do a Thanksgiving look today using probably all like the cranberry colors and the browns a little bit more than I usually do. I do use a lot of the browns in this palette, but um, I really want to try out some of the darker cranberry reddish colors. So like over here, like this row, a little bit into this row, all over the palette. I'm just rambling right now, but I'm going to probably just see how it goes see what I come up with and try not to look in my mirror or like if I need a mirror I might use like a small little mirror so you can see my process a little bit more and if you want an updated anything like if you want me to do a brow routine I'm more than happy to and before anything make sure you give this video a like comment down below share it with all your friends and make sure you subscribe before you leave. And I'm gonna pause. All right guys, as I was saying before, my dog started barking. I'm gonna be using Jaclyn Hill to do a Thanksgiving look, fall look, I don't know. Yeah, but of course, you don't have to watch me do a full face of foundation, contour, powder, Concealer, highlight, and blush. It's already finished, so you're just gonna watch me do my eyes today. Starting off with uh, what color? I don't know the colors offhand, so that's why I'm like looking. We're gonna work on, I think. Start off with what's kind of like a folly color to start off. I think I'm gonna start off with Cooter, which is this shade right here, all over the lid, into the crease on my BH Cosmetics, just brushes I have, and a few of my Luxie brushes. And I just have a small little mirror I'm gonna use, so most of it you're gonna see, so just so I can see as well. Just putting the shade all over the lid. I don't know where I'm gonna go with this look, but just stick to it and we'll find out all together what my look's gonna be, the finishing product is going to be is that powder? I want to make sure I grab into the same color and not a different color because that would not be pretty and if there's any other looks you want me to try with the Jaclyn Hill palette I'm more than welcome to try them out And before any other products, I'm just going to see if I can put any of the highlight. I don't think I can yet, but that's fine. I'll just put it at the end. Sorry. <laughs> Again, I'm grabbing some pooter onto my brush. 
and onto the next same a different eye. Sorry if you. I'm very self conscious when it comes to me doing eyeshadows. So if you see me looking in the mirror, it's because I sometimes don't even know where things go, where my eye is. So. Alright then. Ooh, okay. I'm gonna grab my little fluffy. I forget what brush this is. It's one of the brushes I got from my boxy charm in I think October so. Octobers or September's, I forget. But I'm just blending it all out. Just to make it look more seamless and less choppy. I'm also probably going to be doing a vlog for Friday's video about the new place, so stick around for that. And don't mind me, my friend like this. So. Yeah, that's an exciting time to be me. When I have that. Alright, now after pooter, we're going to dip into Roxanne, which is this shade right down here, on the same brush we had pooter on. And we're going to just pick up some of that. And just Mostly this is going to be into the crease, so we're just... Mostly going into the crease and outer V of my eye. And yeah, halfway to her. It's blending well into each other. This eye. I like seamless blends when it comes to my eyeshadows. Sorry. But yeah, that's actually turning out really pretty. I thought it was going to turn out a different. Sometimes I underestimate myself with eyeshadows. But it all depends on how confident I am feeling. Recently I've just been eh. If you want me to do a birthday look, I'm more than happy to do that because I don't know really what I'm doing for my birthday. So, tell me some birthday ideas what I should do for my birthday. That is coming up, which is amazing at times. It amazes me how fast the month is gonna fly by and it's gonna be like, oh. It's my 20th birthday. Yay. <laughs> I'm just trying to look for some brushes. I took out earlier. I may have put them back in the cup. So. No, but I have other brushes. What did they come on with me? I don't know where I put them, but they're kind of important right now, but so I can't find them. So I'm just going to use my pointed blender right here and just blend out any of the these colors more a little bit more seamlessly I'll try to find them right when I go for some let's jump up on I found them there we go now using my crease brush, even though I don't use it for a crease brush, brush by IBY Beauty, I'm going to be dipping into the 
one after Roxanne, which is a jazz, which is a darker, prettier, like maroony red. There's your pinson. So this one's going more into the outer V and onto the lower lash line than the other ones did. So just about half of that onto the outer V and blend ever so lightly into the other color so there's actually no harsh lines. I'm also blending into a little bit of the crease as well. Again, I pack it and then I swoop it. Pack. Swoop. So I'm just trying to make sure everything looks blended and no harsh lines. That's why if you see me looking at the mirror, it's from that. Nothing else is really the problem with it. Just me making sure nothing, nothing drinky or ratchet or just gross. Sorry if I'm moving a lot. Oh, jeez. Almost fell off. My <laughs> bad. Here. But yeah, that's. And then my blender, of course. Uh, oh gee, hi. Sorry, you guys, but yeah, just trying to make sure I have this all nice and pretty before I dip into another color. Now I'm going to dip into what I'm not going to dip into. I think it's this color down here. I'm going to dip into chip which is this dark, dark brown here. It's kind of like a dark brown, kind of like, I guess, a red. Alright, but that's okay. Oh, sorry. That guy's... Oh, okay. I can kind of see the process right now. What it's looking like, but Chip is just that dark color I kind of needed onto the lid and more into that. That's the kind of eye look I'm kind of going for. So I'm just going to grab whatever's left over onto the brush, smoke it on my outer lash line. I'm going to grab a little bit of the jazz, that's that dark ready red before I use chip, that is right here, that's going on the lower lash line as well. Now I'm going to use my handy dandy wherever it goes, I don't know where it disappears to. Oh, there it is. My handy dandy liquid eyeliner, do the wing of course, and then some mascara, and I will be back for the finished look. Alright, mascara and eyeliner are on, and now on to the most important thing, which is the lips. Now, usually when you do a dark look like this, I usually go for a nude, and that is exactly what I'm going to be doing. But I have a lot of nudes now, 
But I'm going to use a brownie nude because it just suits it more. So I'm going to use the Kat Von D Bow and Arrow one. Now this, again, I got from BoxyCharm. And I usually don't like these colors, but I actually adore this color. Just something about this lip color. I don't know, I just missed it. Possibly. Yeah, just something about this color just makes me love the color. And I'm just making sure it's on the lips and not outside of the lips or. I just need to clean up a little bit. Mm -hmm. So that is the finished look. I look it's very dark than I'm used to. But before you guys leave, again, make sure you give this video a thumbs up. Comment down below what I should film next, what type of eye look, makeup look, or if you want me just to do my lip swatches of all the lip pleas I have here to so I'm no problem with that I can swatch if you want me to swatch all my eyeshadow palettes so I hope you guys enjoyed I love you all and I will see you in the next video bye beauties